Team Ankahas has finally arrived in Japan, all fired up and ready to rock. No time to waste, straight to the train grind. Jervin Ankahas is gearing up to snatch Takuma Inoue's World Boxing Association or WBA Bantamweight crown. Sure, the odds might seem stacked against him, but Jervin Ankahas labeled as the underdog. But who cares about that thing? Ankahas is in it to win it, and that's all that matters. They've been putting in the work since last June, first in Las Vegas, and then in Kabibe. The original fight date in November got pushed back due to Inoue's fracture rib. Coach Joven Jimenez is confident their preparation is top-notch, ready to put Ancas back in the driver's seat despite a 16-month break. Ancas used to rule the 115-pound division from 2016 to 2020. He outdrew it and had a couple of setbacks against Fernando Martinez. Last year, he made a comeback at 121 pounds, knocking out Wilner Soto in the fifth round. Now he's dropping back to 118, where his knockout power has sent 23 out of 34 opponents. Sure, Takuma Inoue might not be the heaviest hitter, with only 4 knockouts in his 18-1 record, but Jovin Jimenez isn't sleeping on him. They're playing it smart, not rushing it. Jervin Akaz is gonna size up the situation in those early rounds. Manny Pacquiao's right-hand man Sean Gibbons is on the same page. Is putting his money on Ankahas, saying this is a very winnable fight for him. Jerwin Ankahas is hungry for that win. And of course, before I forget, Jonas Sultan is also in the undercard and he is fighting Riko Masuda of Japan. The fight is on Feb 24th, this Saturday, and we wish all the fighters the best of luck. This is JP Boxing Report. Time out.